Now we are going to start with the third mode of transfer of heat. That mode of transfer of heat is known as radiation. So in conduction we have studied there is a transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder body in solids and without any actual movement of particles. In convection we have studied that there is a transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder body with actual movement of particles like in liquids but in radiation in radiation also there is a transfer of heat from hotter body to the colder body but here there is a no need of material medium actually it is not going to heat up the space in between it without the space only without the air particles only it will transfer the heat so the process in which the transfer of heat takes place from hotter body to the colder body without heating the space in between them is known as radiation the example for this is the sun actually whatsoever sun radiations are coming towards the earth as we know in the earth okay air particles are there but sun is not in the earth sun is out of the earth out of the earth is where here for example earth is there and here for example sun is there okay so whenever this heat radiation from the sun have to come inside this earth in between the earth and the sun there is a vacuum created because in between no air particles are there air particles are only there inside the earth okay in between no air particles are there na? but still light radiation or heat radiation comes from the sun and move towards the earth so how this heat radiation or how this heat move from the sun to the earth without any heat material medium due to the radiation okay so in radiation there is a no need of material medium without material medium also in the vacuum also the heat radiation or heat can move from hotter body to the colder body okay this we are having example related to conduction convection as well as radiation for example here we are having a burning fire and when we will take the like any conductor towards the burning fire this conductor firstly take the heat towards this point after some process due to conduction we will also feel hot at this colder part also this is a process of conduction similar manner we are having the convection also whatsoever air particles are present in this reason that at air particles will take up the heat from the sun or that air particles will take take up the heat from the fire and while taking the heat from the fire the air particles will become hot and it will give us the heat this is a convection but in the radiation whenever we no air particle is there here for example vacuum is there in a vacuum also the we are feeling hot whenever we are standing near the fire because in this way no conduction no convection is there in this way radiation is there okay so next topic we are having absorption and reflection of thermal radiation actually black bodies are good absorber also of heat plus black bodies are good radiator of heat also see carefully how black bodies are the bodies which absorb more and more heat from the surrounding okay black bodies absorb more heat but instead if we are talking about white bodies white bodies are good reflector of heat whenever on the white bodies heat are coming from the outside the white bodies reflect back heat very easily they do not allow the heat to go inside our body but yes if we are wearing a black colored cloth black colors or black colored cloths will absorb more and more heat into our body and we feel very hot due to the black color okay so black colors are good absorber of heat as well as black bodies are good radiator of heat also radiator of heat means whatsoever hot bodies are there na that hot bodies are always always giving out the heat radiations they are always sending the heat radiations out similar manner we are having for the black bodies also black bodies are also acting like a good radiator radiator means they are passing or they are radiating or giving the heat out to the environment very easily but instead if you are talking about the white bodies white bodies are very poor radiator of heat poor radiator of heat means it will just reflect back the heat it will not take out our heat or not take out the heat radiations and reflect it in the outside so that is why black bodies are good radiator and white bodies are poor radiator of heat first application of radiation we are having the bottom of the cooking utensil is painted black might be you have ever observed in the kitchen that whatsoever cooking utensils we are using in the kitchen that cooking utensil base is always painted black why it is painted black as i already told firstly that black bodies are very good absorber of heat good absorber of heat means whenever we are putting the utensils on a fire or on a heat the black bodies are absorbing more and more heat from that fire absorbing more and more heat means the cooking of the food will takes place very easily that is why the base of the cooking utensils are painted black but yes the sides of the cooking utensils are painted spangly bright why they are painted bright because whatsoever heat is present inside the 
like pan that heat cannot emit outside from the black color because black color is a good emitter also so the heat do not emit outside means we have to cook the food properly so that is why it is painted sparkling brightly why because whatsoever heat is present inside the pan that heat will reflect back into the pan only and the food will cook easily okay having second application related to radiation second application we are having the radiators of automobile and air conditioner are painted black the radiators of air conditioner or the car why it is painted black because as we know black is a good emitter of heat or you can say good radiator of heat as black is a good radiator of heat so whatsoever heat is generated into the car engine that heat it will collect and it will give outside to the surrounding so that our car parts engine will not get heaten up due to the friction and all okay that is why we are using here black color so that it can emit whatsoever heat is present inside the car it can emit outside so the black colors okay third application we are having pipes of solar cooker and containers of solar cooker are painted black always pipes of solar cooker are also painted black from outside why because as we know solar cookers are working on the basis of sunlight and if they are absorbing more and more sunlight in that case only solar cooker will work properly no so black color will what help us black color will help to absorb more and more sun radiation into it and whatsoever thing is there inside the solar cooker that can cook properly okay next application we are having firemen wear shiny brass cap why they are wearing shiny brass cap shiny means whatsoever heat radiations are going or coming towards their head that heat radiation will reflect back due to the shiny surface of the cap shiny surface or light colored object will always reflect back the heat radiation as the cap is shiny so it will reflect back the whatsoever sunlight is coming on their head it will reflect back so that their head can maintain at cool okay next application of radiation we are having sand is a good absorber as well as good reflector of heat might be you have seen in rajasthan about the sand that during day time sand is very much hot why it is very much hot because sand during day time it is acting like a good absorber of heat during day time as sun is there due to sun it is absorbing more and more heat in inside itself okay and whenever it is absorbing more and more heat being a good absorber of heat it is becoming more and more hot during the day time but actually in the night time what is happening actually in the night time this same sand is acting like a good emitter whatsoever total heat it absorbed during the day time now it is a time to act like a good emitter and sand is emitting the heat trapped inside and giving out to the environment that is why at night it fully become the cool okay next application of radiation we are having a cloudy night is much warmer as compared to clear night why actually what is happening there in a cloudy night clouds are there in the atmosphere okay so whatsoever heat is there on the earth surface that heat when it goes toward the clouds as clouds being a good reflector of heat because clouds are light colored no so it will reflect back the heat to the earth surface only so when it reflect heat the back to the earth surface only so it will allow the earth to become more and more warm means it do not allow the heat to go upside to into the space it do not allow it just reflect back the heat into the earth surface and that is why earth surface is becoming more and more warmer 